Welcome you to Tidy and Untidy Friday and these are how-to videos every Friday. So let's continue. Today I'm going to show you how to use a sketch pad. As you can see I've got the bamboo. This is the model number one. Bamboo one. I just want to show you that. Bamboo one. So it's a very small sketch pad. Probably your budget version of from bamboo and uh, I'm going to show you how to sketch using a digital pen. That's my digital pen and my digital uh, paper as i can say uh, so basically i'm gonna go into website and i'm gonna use a program called sketchpad as you can see the link will be at the top of your screen and i'll also include the link in the description of the video just below this video so now i'm gonna go to new i'm gonna say black because i want to have a background and then apply so now it already has a sort of star thing so now i'm trying to write, trying to make my own graphics here. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. So let's use some different effects. There's some different effects there for you. I'm not sure what I'm writing. I'm just basically just doing something for the sake of doing something. So uh, this is how you can do some artistic things. Just to show you, I'm not all, uh, you know, just play messing around. I can actually, I do have some artistic, you know, uh, artistic side to me. I'm going to show you how I'm going to draw a face. So now I just have to uh, get a new picture going here. So new project, menu, new and create new okay apply so now i'm going to show you that i can basically draw and draw a face and then you can decide for yourself whether or not i'm artistic and then we can decide whether or not i should uh, maybe become a famous painter or artist so there's my eyes okay doesn't want to give me the proper proper feeling of writing a nose and a and eyes so this is supposedly supposed to be a face so hopefully i do pull this off and you can see that i've got some some uh, special skills with regards to drawing and painting however i didn't use this program for a very long time and what i mean with not using this program i didn't use this actual uh, uh you know pen and pad digital pen and pad for a while so i'm a little bit rusty i've never really used it to be honest i just probably just use it just for the sake of keeping myself busy so there i've got a face let's just give it let's see if i can do something else with it there you go the face looks better okay nose let me draw a 3g object let's just see what that looks like okay there's a 3g object Three. D. So that's me guys, uh, if you uh, if you like my small quick tutorial on how to use a digital pen and paper then uh, you know I hope you enjoyed this and uh, hopefully I will see you again. Sorry for the short intro, I just wanted to show you how to actually do a digital you know picture and image of something and then you know hopefully you know maybe you can learn something from it especially knowing what exactly you need. You need this bamboo one. I believe there's there's more, um, di you know, like digital products that you can use. However, Bamboo and Wacom, that's the company is called Wacom, is actually one of the leading designers of digital art equipment. So you can actually not go wrong using their equipment. So uh, I'm think I'm going to leave it at that and, you know, just give my guy a little bit of a beard here, maybe a moustache. There we go, he looks more manly than before. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so guys, uh, thank you for joining me on this Tidy and Untidy Friday, where I look for answers on how to do something I want to start uh, doing, or I look for solutions to problems. And if you have a problem and even a solution, please mention that in the comments and we can feature your problem or solutions every Friday. Remember, sharing your solutions can help with someone else's problems, and that is why we need you. Don't ask what the world will do for you, but what you can do for the world, my friend. That is my new motto every Fridays on Untidy and Tidy Fridays. 
I will see you on the new episode next Friday and thanks in advance for sharing your ideas, problems and solutions in the comments below this video. Ciao for now. So here are some very interesting uh, artistic drawings around the website of uh, DeviantArt. So if you're looking for inspiration, I think you should look no further than DeviantArt for some interesting art that could give you, you know, inspiration to do your next artistic project. for watching. If you like my video, why don't you subscribe?